Hi, James here from the XIR team, and I'm excited to share with you a fantastic new feature available in XIR Search 2026, AI Assisted Culling. Now, when I talk about culling, I'm referring to the process of selecting a small number of keeper photos from a larger batch, whether that's from a day-long wedding shoot, a week-long wildlife photography safari, or from a year of just casually photographing your family. The goal is always just to pick your absolute best shots for all sorts of different things, for editing, for sharing, for uh, sending to clients, for posting on social media, uploading to your website, printing, and so on. And while culling is normally a tedious, time-consuming process, Xire Search 2026 brings a whole set of AI-powered culling tools directly into Lightroom. And these tools are capable of automatically grouping and sorting images based on a variety of helpful criteria. So with XIR Search's new culling tools, selecting your best photos really is astonishingly fast. And you even have the option to configure XIR so it automatically selects and rejects photos for you based on your chosen criteria. So you can bypass culling completely if you want to. The culling feature is designed to be both powerful and flexible, so you can have as much or as little control over the culling process as you want. And in this video, I do walk you through the basics of the XIR Search 2026 culling tools, including a comprehensive look at all of these different features that you can take advantage of, and it will help you get started culling right away. But if you're interested in looking at, say, more advanced culling workflows, I have recorded two other videos that are available on our channel and they walk you through specific culling workflows. So if that interests you, go ahead and check that out after you've watched this one. And for now, let's dive right in and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in the Lightroom library module and I'm going to start by pulling up the new XIR search panel. To do that, I'll hit Alt and X together on my keyboard or Option plus X if I were on a Mac. Uh, and you can also open the panel by choosing Library, Plugin Extras, Open XIR Search Panel. Now, as you can see, the panel is capable of displaying image previews and you can zoom in and out. And it also magnifies the subject's faces so you can quickly ID them and check focus. And on the right hand side here, you can access most of XIR's tools, including these three tools down here, which are specifically designed for culling. It's pretty intuitive, but if you do want to learn more about working with the new panel, check out my dedicated XIR search panel video. Now, I generally like to do culling using a two monitor setup with the Lightroom Classic window open in one monitor and the XIR search panel open in the other monitor. However, since I'm only recording one monitor for this video, I'm going to use a split screen approach here. On the left hand side, I'm going to use Lightroom to select a batch of images that I want to call. Now, you can actually choose a folder in Lightroom or you can choose a collection in Lightroom and then you can use these culling tools on a huge number of images at once, up to 10,000. Or you can just choose to keep it relatively small. Here I'm going to choose this culling set, which uh, has around 900 images that a photographer took for a pre-wedding photo shoot. Then with your batch of images selected, it's time to start a culling project. I'm just going to click on the first culling icon right here, start slash adjust culling project. And in the resulting dialog box, I can configure my culling settings. So to start, I'm gonna look at the grouping tab here, which lets me tell XIR to group images based on specific characteristics. For instance, if I were to select this group by people option, XIR will group each set of images that contain a specific person. So if you're calling a batch of photos from a family gathering with 10 people, you would end up with 10 image groups, one for each person. And if you select the group by visual similarity option here, XIR will group each set of images that look similar. So if you photographed a bride in front of a tree for a bit, 
then change backgrounds to a wall, you could expect Axire to split those images into two groups, one for the tree background and one for the wall background. There is also the option to group based on specific types of content, where you can choose from a list of keywords here and have Xire place the relevant images from your batch into collections that correspond to these different keywords. Or you could choose to group based on capture date here, where you can specify the time intervals that are used to group the shots. So you can have Xire group your event photo shoot, say, into sets of images taken every 15 minutes or every half hour. And you can also have Xire group your images into sequences where bursts of images are grouped together. Basically, the goal here is to organize your images into useful groups so you can pick files that represent the photo shoot without going through each and every image. Now, if you like, you can simply use these calling tools to group images into sets of photos, then do the rest of the photo selection manually. So let me set Xire to group by people here. I'll remove this. Let's say group by visual similarity. And I'll remove this and let's set the capture date to half hours. We have that there. And I'm just going to hit start. It's pretty fast, even with a large number of images, and you'll get this report dialog. Then in the Lightroom Collections panel, you'll see that Xire has created a collection set called Xire Culling Projects, and you'll find your specific culling project right down here. So in that broader Xire Culling set, you have a specific collection set that corresponds to the current date and time. That's my current culling project. It's where I want to be here. Look under this current culling project, and there are different grouping options that I selected, that is, that corresponded to the grouping choices I made in the culling dialog. So we have capture date, we have people, and we have visual similarity. Now, I want to direct your attention back to the Xire search panel for a second, because so far I've been using the photo view, which lets you view one image at a time. But there's also the culling group view right here. Now, this doesn't really work if you haven't selected a culling project grouping from Lightroom. But once you do select a Lightroom culling project grouping, like, say, capture date here, this is what happens. The panel displays the groups that Xire created. And by double clicking on a specific group, you can see the images inside. So they'll appear in the Lightroom window here. And the first image will show up right here in the Xire search panel. Anyway, this is a really useful way to get a sense of how Xire has grouped your images. So here, since I'm looking at the capture date group, you can see Xire has created a collection set for each half hour period. And by the way, to go in and out here, so if I double click, if I hit escape, that's going to bring me back to this culling group overview. So I can get a nice overview of each chunk of time here during the photo shoot using this capture date grouping. And if I wanted to, I could quickly go through and choose a handful of images to represent each period. Now, under the people collection set here, the first two collections are dedicated to the photo shoot subjects. Since this is a couple's photo shoot, the results aren't that interesting because there really are just two main subjects and they appear generally together. But if I click here, you can see that Xire noticed uh, a guy who's just kind of hovering in the background who's sort of photobombing the shot. And then by the way, if I click on visual similarity here, this, this collection set, you can see the Xire grouped images based on how they look. So group two here, it's a bunch of images that show this woman standing by the pillar. And uh, if I hit the right and left arrow keys, I can go through. And then I'll hit escape to go back to the overview here. And if I come in here, can show you so group three contains the couple under these archways and so on. So now I could just go through each visually similar group uh, maybe uh, using the panel's photo view and I could just step through the images and try to find one or two good shots from each set flag them by pressing P on my keyboard, 
uh, and then just move on to the next group and the next group and the next. And by the way, when you do flag an image, that is you press P or click the little flag option uh, in Lightroom, or if you reject an image by pressing X or hitting the, the reject button, XIR automatically puts them into a selection collection here, I'll show you, and then a recycle bin collection for images that have been rejected. So once you're done with culling then, you have all your keeper images readily available. And if you don't like exactly how XIR groups your images, by the way, you can make modifications after you've run a culling project. You just hit this start or adjust culling project option, and then you can just make tweaks here. And I also want to emphasize that while you can choose to do all your selecting manually, XIR can also help with this, as long as your previews are sufficiently large, and this can be adjusted in the Lightroom Plugin Manager, the little icon here in the bottom left of the face magnification strip will display a color corresponding to the focus of the image. So the greener the color here, the better the focus. And you can see this even more clearly if you toggle on this button here, Highlight Faces, and XIR will add a box with the color around the person's face. So you can use the focus indicator to ensure that you pick images that display in focus faces. Just be sure that you tell XIR to use relatively high quality previews. As I said, you can set this under file plugin manager. And really for the fastest experience with the panel, we do recommend you also try to set your panel previews and your Lightroom catalog previews so the sizes are identical. And if you are noticing some lag, it can be a good idea to just build your previews in advance in the Lightroom catalog. Now there's also a three by three grid here that you can toggle on to help with evaluating horizon lines and your sense of composition here. And even more usefully, once you've selected a specific group from the calling groupings that XIR has created, you can actually click this button here, which gives you the option to sort the photos in that group based on things like sharpness, face sharpness, eye sharpness, expression, and even aesthetics. And that way you can just quickly see the sharpest shots. And they'll appear in this sorting results folder down here. Though it's important, by the way, that you change this sort option to custom order so that everything displays correctly and Lightroom does indeed place the sharpest shots or the shots that correspond to the criteria you chose at the top. So now with that sorting done, I can choose from the sharpest images and I don't have to bother with the blurrier ones. And going through each visually similar group becomes incredibly fast since I can just look at the first handful of results until I find the one that I like. And I can also always increase this thumbnail size if I don't want to go through the panel here. Instead, I just want to scroll. So I can increase the thumbnail size in Lightroom and I can just scroll and evaluate the pose and composition because I know I'm getting the sharpest results first. Finally, I do want to show you that XIR has fully automated culling tools. If I click on this final icon in the search panel, it'll bring up this smart selection dialog, which is where I can instruct XIR to identify my best images from each group based on a variety of attributes, such as eye sharpness and face sharpness, all these different things, and I can change this to correspond to the groupings that I want XIR to use when actually making its selections. I demo this in another culling workflow video, but what's important here is to try it out and see how you feel about XIR selections. It's all non-destructive. XIR search is just adding flags or stars or color labels. So if you don't like the picks, you can always go back through XIR's groups manually. But if you do get results you like with smart selection here, it'll save you an incredible amount of time in the long run. And by the way, you can run Smart Selection when you first start a culling project. So if I come back here and I'm just going to click to start a culling project, you look here and Smart Selection is an option. It's under this tab here. You just click Enable Smart Selection and you get the same options to tell XIR which criteria matters to you 
and what it should use and how many images it should pick from each group. And I can even tell XIR to reject blurry or poorly exposed images or images with eyes closed uh, and XIR would just apply a rejection flag here. So this is totally non-destructive as well. And that way, with these smart selection options, when you run the culling project, you'll instantly have a set of great images in your selection collection, and you can use those to just find your absolute best shots. Hopefully, you can now see just how powerful the culling features in XIR Search 2026 actually are, and how you can use them to save so much time when going through your photos for clients, for social media, for sharing with friends, or just for your own personal use. XIR's calling tools offer a lot of flexibility, and you can adjust them to give you the results that work best for you. So I encourage you to just head into XIR, start up a calling project, and play around, and then see how much time you can actually save when going through hundreds or even thousands of images. So thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, go ahead and push that like button. Of course, for more tips and tutorials on XIR's AI-powered photo management tools, go ahead and subscribe to our channel.